dear all welcome to the playlist of sensors and transducers have you watched my previous video on measurement of linear and angular displacements okay likewise i made one more video on how do you measure linear speed or linear velocity let's talk about the method of measurement of linear velocity or speed in this session before starting the session suppose if you found this channel useful i request you to subscribe this channel and press the bell button and also i humbly request you to share this particular video to your students or friends or colleagues anyway let's get started about measurement of linear velocity do you know what is velocity velocity is nothing but it is a rate of change of displacement so you can write v is equal to dx by dt where x is the displacement and the unit of velocity will be meter per second or you can express in terms of kilometer per hour also not an issue then in different type of industrial applications especially in the automotive engineering we need to have a measurement of velocity especially speedometer you might have heard about speedometers okay in exactly how do you measure the linear velocity yes of course there are different methods in this session i am going to discuss two popular methods to measure the measurement of linear velocity the first method is electromagnetic type transducer and another type of method is known as seismic type transducer using the seismic type and transducer you can able to measure acceleration as well what uh, how do how about the classification of electromagnetic type transducer electromagnetic type transducers can be broadly divided into moving magnetic type and moving coil type these are the sub classification of electromagnetic type now i am going to discuss about what do i mean by electromagnetic type transducer the working principle of electromagnetic transducer you need to understand before beginning of the session first of all you need to understand the faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction then you need to have a brief idea about reluctance what do you mean by reluctance so reluctance is nothing but it is the opposition it is a property that it's an opposition of the particular magnetic flux so reluctance will is directly proportional to the length and area area of cross section where uh, l is the length length of air gap and area area of the total amount of flux passing in that particular region s is directly proportional to l and inversely proportional to area okay so s is directly proportional to l and s is inversely proportional to area okay this is about the reluctance okay and also you need to understand about flux linkage and also you need to understand uh, the how about the emf produced based on faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction basically you need to have a basic idea about the dynamically induced emf i hope these concept you must have studied in your basic electrical engineering then let's come to the point electromagnetic transducer it operates based on it you the voltage produced that means the induced emf the voltage produced in the coil uh, that is directly proportional to the flux linkage the voltage produced in the coil that is directly proportional to the flux linkage let me write it as d phi by dt okay this is actually the faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and uh, that results the change in reluctance hope it is very clear okay so this is actually the basic working principle of electromagnetic transducers okay. obviously it works based on faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and uh, typically you, to, you need to talk about dynamically induced emf clear uh, the working principle of dc generator is based on dynamically induced emf and the working principle of transformer that is basically statically induced emf how does moving magnetic type transducer work how you can able to measure the linear velocity by using move, moving magnetic type transducer let us straight away look at the diagram there is a schematic diagram first in the foremost i want to introduce there is a permanent magnet which is having no and also the permanent magnet is connected to a device whose velocity is being measured correct so the moving object will be directly connected to the permanent magnet beside of the permanent magnet you can able to see the coil see these are the uh, moving coil is available here this is your coil moving mag uh, it is not a moving part it's a stationary coil is stationary remember that whatever the coil is there no that is stationary hope you are understanding and uh, which is the moving part permanent magnet is the moving part here i have mentioned velocity 
okay velocity means rate of change of displacement that is called the velocity so the permanent magnet is being connected to uh, the moving object with respect to the movement of permanent magnet what is going to happen the flux linkage will be taken place in the coil as a result of flux linkage the emf will be produced is that true or not you must have studied about the faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction i already prepared in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering kindly go through that i have already uh, pu uh, prepared that video very long back and i am going to put up the same video in the i button please go through that of of course uh, the induced emf that is directly proportional to d pi by dt and whatever the induced emf that will be directly proportional to the reluctance okay so the air gap it will be depending on the air gap so reluctance also getting varied is it okay or not so at a glance we can able to say that the flux linkage that is directly proportional to the induced emf so that is again proportional to the movement of the particular permanent magnet where the moving object is connected to the permanent magnet it is very clear in the diagram itself as the velocity is very much high at as a result the induced emf that will be very much high so therefore i'll be writing e is directly proportional to uh, the velocity e is directly proportional to velocity the small letter v represent the velocity in terms of meter per second and e is known as induced emf which is in terms of volt i hope it is very clear mathematically we can represent the induced emf can be written as b into a into n into v what is e e means induced emf b means flux density a means area n is the n is nothing but what is then n is nothing but the total number of turns which is provided in the coil everybody can have a look on the coil a is the area of the coil and v is the relative velocity of magnet with respect to the coil because the permanent magnet is moving over there where the permanent magnet is directly connected to the moving object mechanical object okay so the direction of motion is determined by the polarity of the output voltage whether it is in clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction anything you can able to determine based on the output voltage if the output voltage is positive we will say the direction uh, like uh, is it a, uh, based on the direction to be frank based on the direction direction of the particular uh, magnet is it in clockwise or anti clockwise you can able to determine so from this mathematical expression uh, we can able to conclude that induced emf is directly proportional to the uh, the velocity the velocity so velocity can be measured in terms of uh, induced emf so purely it's a transducer here remember that the coil is stationary where the permanent magnet is movable clear so this is the way how you can able to measure velocity by using moving magnetic type transducer moving magnet means the permanent magnet is moving where the permanent magnet has been connected with the, the mechanical object so this is the way how you can able to measure velocity so velocity will be measured in terms of induced voltage or induced emf there are lot of advantages such as uh, poor, uh, maintenance is not so necessary every time construction is robust and quite in in expensive in inexpensive less cost okay output voltage is linearly proportional to velocity so the measurement will be quite easy if i talk about the setback uh, the frequency response is very limited if you plot the frequency response you cannot able to get a proper uh, specifications unsuitability for measurement of vibration that is another issue because the slight uh, movement cannot be able to measure stray magnetic field adversely affect the performance there are certain errors we need to do the calibration effectively so these are the advantages and disadvantages of moving magnetic type transducer if i talk about the moving coil type here we can able to say that the magnet is fixed fixed actually here permanent magnet is kept constant and we are trying to move the coil where the uh, moving object will be directly connected to the coil that is only the difference clear so that is about moving coil type here permanent magnet provides the flux and uh, the mo moving coil particular coil will be moving with respect to the movement of the object clear so this is actually called a moving coil type uh, mo moving coil type uh, transducers okay you can able to measure the velocity by using moving coil type transducer so in this session i have discussed about what do i mean by electromagnetic type transducer there are two type of uh, electromagnetic type transducer one is moving uh, magnet type other one is moving coil type Finally thank you very much for watching this video if you are having any queries please put up in the comment box
थैंक यू